When the out-of-town shippers line up for this year's Sunland Derby, they could find a formidable opponent in locally based Isn't He Clever? Well, he's four to one on the morning line, which we think is fair. Got two shippers coming in that are good horses. We got to beat those guys. But I think we got a good a chance as anybody. If, if he wins the race, I won't be surprised. Robeson is a veteran owner who has raced horses in top company all over the country. He knows quality and believes his colt's ability starts with the pedigree. He's by Smarty Jones, who won the Kentucky Derby. He was one of our most spectacular three-year-olds in this country for the last 20 years. And his, his mother is by deputy minister. She, that, that's a pedigree that says he'll go long. So he's just a talented horse that is peaking, I think, at the right time. I really do. But according to trainer Henry Dominguez, isn't he clever didn't always act like a derby prospect. Well, he really never showed us anything uh, in midsummer. You know, he went out to California and he didn't do any good out there. Of course, they didn't run him because they didn't think he was very talented. But it was this fall that he started showing and he only started doing it during his races because in the mornings he was never, he was just, he was just an average horse. Uh, and he he's came, he's come, every time we've asked him to do something, he steps up to it. So, you know, we're real pleased with that. In last month's Borderland Derby, Isn't He Clever was asked to do something new, sit behind horses going two turns. He responded well to win by nearly two lengths. That is correct. You know, he didn't, he didn't meet a feel like he did in California, but the horse, had already, we already knew that he could adjust to rating tactics. And, you know, we knew that we needed to do that with him if he ever was going to compete with fields like that. So that's one thing about this horse, that he's very versatile, and you can do just about whatever you can with him. This time around, the job of positioning Isn't He Clever has been given to former Sunland leading rider Luis Contreras, winner of the 2011 Canadian Triple Crown. Luis, you know, he came out here to ride for Steve Asmussen a couple of years ago. When he didn't ride for him, he rode for us, and we were, I mean, we had great, great results with him. And, uh, you know, I feel real confident with him. He had asked us, to, you know, would he, if he'd come out here, would we have something for him? And it just happened that we did. So, yeah, we're real pleased with having him. So, with all systems go, Kirk Robeson hopes the large contingent backing his colt will have something to cheer about. We are the local favorite, which is nice, Tommy. We've had a lot of, we've had a lot of support by people, including the media, on this horse, and uh, he deserves it. You know, he's four of six. Uh, he's a multiple stakes winner, and we think his best days are ahead of him starting with Sunday.